This is Monica Makes It Happen. And hi, everyone. Thanks for joining me for the Monica Makes It Happen show. This show is all about housing and the heroes who are making it happen. You know those fancy real estate shows that highlight all those multi-million dollar listings? We're the opposite of that. We have an exclusive look at the new affordable housing coming to your New York City neighborhood right now. How do you get on those lists? What are some tricks to making it happen? Keep watching. I want to start with our mission to get people the homes they deserve. Every day, I'm in your bedrooms, bathrooms, and kitchens fighting for your repairs and respect. Take a look. A lot of tears and housing nightmares. The pipe burst on the 4th, but there was water down here. I just hope they will do the right thing by the seniors. We've been there for you every step of the way. I said, I'm calling Channel 11. Don't worry about it. We're going to get something done around here. You can count on Pix and my girl right here to get it done. For seven years, you've invited me into your homes and neighborhoods. Monica's always on your side to get the job done. Sitting on your couches and hearing your stories of struggle. This is her, all of the complaints that she's put in. Our mission here at PIX11 News is always to fix your apartments fast with our TV segment called Monica Makes It Happen at 555 every night. I mean, this is dangerous. I mean, you don't know how far this goes. We visited more than 200 developments, fixed hundreds of apartments, restored the heat and hot water to dozens of buildings every winter for years. Thank you, PIX11 News for coming out today. We have heat now in my baby's nursery. We use the power of TV and social media to hold those in power accountable, make connections, and move people to action. Just wanted to thank you and let you know that thanks to you, we now have boiling ouch, 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 hot water. Thank you, Monica, for making it happen. I'm motivated by my own story. My parents struggle with poverty and housing insecurity. That pushes me every day to help get you results. Monica, you made it happen. All fixed. Thank, Thank you. you. We're going to help you find affordable housing and highlight the housing heroes who give us hope for change and make it happen every day. Let's help them shine in our new show. And I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you very much, Monica, for making it happen for me. And thank you for watching all those years. New York is one of the most expensive cities in the world. Rents are sky high, but there are affordable housing options for families right now. The key is knowing where to find them. We're getting the exclusive first look at three different properties in three different boroughs. Making that happen for us is Adolfo Carrion Jr. He is the commissioner of HPD, the Department of Housing Preservation and Development. He's here to break, help us break that code when it comes to getting affordable housing. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Monica. And this show is very exciting. It really this is. is. Indeed, indeed I don't see about anything else like person. that, right? We That's right. <laughs> All right indeed, let's take... about, about the regular New Yorkers. I love it. I love it. Well, first, let's take a look at the hot properties. Let's start in the Bronx, okay? The Melrose North Apartment, 67 units available right now, about $900 for one bedroom for a couple making about $50,000 a year. And the developer is a woman, right? Yes, it is. It's a, a family-owned business. It's uh, two women, sisters. Um, we're promoting, as you know, women-owned businesses. This yes. is a great location in the South Bronx. Uh, sorely, sorely needed affordable housing for working families, for working individuals. And when you think about a rent at $700, uh, $900 a month, uh, going up to for a, a one a two bedroom sixteen hundred dollars a month. That's really affordable housing, and that's our mission. Well, housing is the star of the show. Next, we go to Queens, the Apex Place, Phase Two in Forest Hills. There's a beautiful courtyard fitness room and children's playroom, and get this seven hundred and thirty eight dollars for a studio for a single person making about thirty thousand dollars a year, right? Monica, if you know Forest Hills, it's a beautiful neighborhood. It's a great part of the city. And to raise your family there, to age there in dignity as that. an older New Yorker, uh, to have your children have a play area and a courtyard and a park and landscaping and a fitness center in the building, Amazing. beautiful amenities. You can see the finishes in these uh, developments. Uh, this was developed by a nonprofit organization, which we're also promoting nonprofit developers uh, to help develop our neighborhoods. Awesome. It's a great opportunity. I love it. Now let's go to Brooklyn, new affordable housing for our seniors we do so many stories on that the sunset ridge senior apartments 57 apartments are open rent is zero to eleven hundred dollars a month depending on your income right 
And the reason it's zero to eleven $1 hundred dollars is because a lot of seniors are on fixed income. Mm -hmm. They uh, are eligible for Section 8 uh, uh, rental vouchers, which helps them live in dignity in a great place. If you know Sunset Park, there's a reason it's called Sunset Park. The park faces the sunset in the evening, New York Harbor, Staten Island, the Verrazano Bridge. It's a beautiful location. Yeah, Imagine being able to be an older New Yorker in a place with greenery and water and safety and amenities. Terrific location. And every year, you know, thousands of people apply to these affordable housing lotteries. It's called Housing Connect. What are some tri tricks people can do to help them and give us some inside information? How do we get this affordable housing? Well, make sure that you go to housingconnect.nyc.gov. We have many listings of new housing. Uh, there are thousands of units yes. around the city, and you can um, create your own profile to, to select the neighborhoods you want. You can apply mm -hmm. online. You can use your... Uh, there it uh, is, yeah. Your iPhone, you can use an iPad, you can use your computer. Uh, you get on the list. Um, there's also something, a little kind of uh, well-kept secret. Do tell. You know, in addition, Monica, to the new development, we have other apartments out there that are called re-rentals. These are also relatively new apartments mm -hmm. that you can sign up for at Housing Connect 2.0. Make your profile in a way where you get alerts about when a family moves out of affordable housing, yes. a unit that we financed. It goes back into the lottery, but people are always thinking new apartment, new apartment, new apartment. Yeah. You increase your chances of getting affordable housing in New York City if you also get the alerts for re-rentals. So make sure you uh, you shape your profile that way to get more information and oh, more opportunities. I love that, Commissioner, because do you know how many people stop me in the street everywhere saying, I can't, I've been waiting on that list forever. So that's one of the tricks. Thank you for giving us that inside information. Also, you are one of New York's very own, born in Brooklyn, grew up in the Bronx, even lived at the NYCHA's Jacob Rees houses, and you work for former President Barack Obama. Tell us why affordable housing for New Yorkers is so important to especially home ownership. There's new resources for that, right? You know, uh, you, you gave a, a quick a, a, a brief of my life and the journey started from a tenement to ultimately our parents buying a home and it was a an FHA, Federal Housing Administration supported mortgage. But the reason we were able to do that was because the city invested in us, the city granted us affordable housing. So it's my life's mission to do the same for other families. And we do have special programs for home ownership to promote home ownership. We have down payment assistance where you can get help to put a down payment on a home. Uh, many of us benefited from that trajectory of mm -hmm. starting in a public housing development right. and ending up as a homeowner. That's the American dream. Well, that was my mom's dream. And I just love that you're helping so many New Yorkers do just that. And we want to help them. So, so many stories that we're going to be uh, to be continued, right, Commissioner? Thank you for joining us, the HPD Commissioner, Adolfo Carrion Jr. Thanks so much. Thank you. Keep up the great work, Monica. You got it, Commissioner. Still to come, more on new affordable apartments in the Bronx and Harlem. But first, meet the new bosses of NYCHA, the two women at the top. We got the exclusive interview and they're on a mission to help bring billions of dollars of repairs to thousands of New York City homes. I got to see firsthand the work being done. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Hi everyone, it's Governor Kathy Holcomb. First, I want to thank Monica Morales for all you do to advocate for families of New York and also to help us dealing with this affordability crisis. Yes, we have an affordability crisis and it hits nowhere harder than it does with respect to the cost of housing, the shortage of supply, the high cost of houses themselves and rent. It's just too much for New Yorkers. So I'm leaning hard to this. It is a crisis, but we have a solution. Under our New York State Housing Compact, we are going to build over 800,000 new units and make sure that people have options and choices and affordability. That's how we invite people here. If people want to stay here. They can raise their families, get a good jobs here, and live out their entire lives here because they get access to good affordable housing. There's no stopping us. No one has been fighting more for those opportunities than Monica Morales. She has her finger on the pulse and cares deeply about our most vulnerable neighborhoods. 
I want to thank her for her relentless focus on affordable housing and living conditions for NYCHA residents. She's out in communities every day, listening to people's struggles and working to improve their lives. I like to say we're getting stuff done for the city. But Monica makes it happen. So the tiger. I was just wondering if he'll be locked up. The whole time? Or absolutely. Oh, absolutely. We never let him out with kids around. Not even our own. It doesn't kill to ask about unlocked guns in the house. Now the leading cause of death for kids. This card is worth a lot of money. Why? Because when you show this card at the dentist, you will keep more of your money in your pocket than you do right now. Call the number on your screen and we will send your carefree dental card with your name on it at no cost. I'm not kidding. Get up, pick up your phone, and request your card right now. You have nothing to lose except your fear of big dental bills. Why is this so important? Because we're talking about hundreds or thousands of dollars that you'll have to pay if you need expensive dental work. So call today and get your card right now. Activate it and you can see the dentist the same day if you need to. From exams and cleanings to more expensive procedures like crowns, dentures, even braces, they're all included with the Carefree Dental Card. Just show your card, save your money. Still not convinced? Okay, I'm gonna show you the power of this card. Let's say you and your family go to the dentist today and here's the bill. Now, instead, let's say you go to the dentist and you show the Carefree Dental Card. You'll cut that bill by $525. Now that's much better. Call 1-800-617-7600 now to receive your Carefree Dental Card and free plan information. The card is as low as $1595 a month. Call 1-800-617-7600 now and see how you could also receive vision and pharmacy benefits at no additional cost. Call 1-800-617-7600 now. Tonight, Kim Jones will give us the inside word on what the Giants will do with Daniel Jones and Saquon Barkley, as well as what else they need to do to make a deep playoff run next season on New York Sports Nation, tonight at 11 on PIX11. And welcome back to the Monica Makes It Happen show. I'm Monica Morales. I want to introduce you to the new bosses of NYCHA. The two people who are running the city's public housing just happen to be two women from right here in New York City. Together, they oversee one of the largest real estate properties in the world. More than 320 developments with about half a million residents. CEO Lisa Bova Hyatt and COO Ava Trimble gave me an inside look at their work. And I saw them on the job and in the neighborhood. Take a look. Women get it done. We are going to get things done for NYCHA. They run 330 housing developments where more than 400,000 New Yorkers live. Right now, they have their work cut out for them. A lot of people are tired of the talk. They want to see action. Well, you know what? Since Eva and I have been in our respective positions, I think we've gotten a lot done. Rome was not built in a day. And we have a lot to do at NYCHA. But we have a very strong team. Um, of executives and senior uh, senior leadership who are really, really committed to turning things around at NYCHA. And why did you say women get it done? I, that was interesting. Why do you say women get it done? Well, I really think that women get it done. Like when you think about families, when, you th I th when I think about my own family, we get things done. We met the new bosses at NYCHA at the walled houses on the Lower East Side. We appreciate you. You hold us accountable, and that's a good thing. NYCHA's CEO, Lisa Bova Hyatt, and its Thank chief you. operating officer, Thank Ava you. Trimble, spoke exclusively with PIX11 News. This is the job of your lives, would you say? Absolutely. This is a dream come true. It's a challenge deeply personal for Bova Hyatt. You give out your card. All the time. Yeah. She's from Brooklyn. She worked for the city and state for 28 years. She got the job just this past September. Forty billion dollars of repairs. I mean, it is all about money, isn't it? How how are we going to get the money to fix NYCHA? Well, we're hopeful that our partners in government, HUD, our the delegation from New York, the city, the state, can find a way to get us more money because you understand that we have a, a huge deficit. We checked out an elevator being maintained. We're looking at the elevator pit. 
She, Ms. Joyce Bell is cleaning out the elevator pit for safety reasons. Looked at newly renovated basketball courts and headed to the boiler room. There, we asked why thousands this winter are still without heat and hot water. They say it's not always the boiler. Sometimes it's the distribution systems. As you can see, it's working overtime today. We also asked them about one of residents' biggest complaints. Why are the tickets closed without the repairs? That's our number one question. We hear that all the time. It's something we are working really hard to fix right now. We're working on a whole new scheduling program where residents are involved in the scheduling process, so it's being scheduled at their own convenience. They were meeting with heating and elevator teams who all happen to be women. 88 of the 128 property managers across NYCHA are women. Ava Trimble stepped into the role of COO in July 2022. She says her focus listening to residents, hearing about their experiences. The way we build trust is by making things happen. Being the best landlord that New York has ever seen. And 16 out of 28 executive team members at NYCHA are women. Coming up, we're giving a big award. Meet this show's community champion. Plus, watch as a Brooklyn man finally gets the keys to move into his first affordable apartment. He waited 11 years for his home. We're there in his living room. Lots more to come. Stick around. If you're a Medicare beneficiary and live in the area, call now to see how this little card could get you some big benefits, including up to $888 added back to your Social Security check each year. With one toll-free call, you can find out how easy it is to get all of your original Medicare coverage plus extra benefits. You get an all-in-one plan designed to fit your needs so you can be your best every day. You could have medical coverage, prescription drugs with $0 generics, dental, vision and hearing, plus the WellCare Visa Flex card to pay for extra dental, vision and hearing expenses, money for over-the-counter items, and up to $888 back in your Social Security check each year, and so much more. And here's more good news. You can get a WellCare plan for a $0 monthly premium. How can WellCare offer all of those benefits for a $0 monthly premium? It's simple. Medicare Advantage and Medicare Part D prescription drug coverage are important parts of Medicare. WellCare has a contract with Medicare to offer and provide these important options to you. Call right now to get your free copy of the WellCare All-in-One Guide. Call 1-866-819-7923 now. There is absolutely no obligation for requesting this free information. WellCare offers benefits that go beyond the basics, including up to $888 each year added to your Social Security check to help cover your Part B premium. Call today to get your free copy of the All-in-One Guide with absolutely no obligation. Your free plan guide will provide information to make a smart choice for your Medicare coverage. Just call 1-866-819-7923. Remember, there's no obligation for requesting this free information. So call 1-866-819-7923. Call today. WellCare. Medicare done well. This is Monica Makes It Happen. And welcome back to the Monica Makes It Happen show. And it's all about housing. As many New Yorkers know, affordable housing is hard to come by. But now, thanks to an organization called the New York Foundling, it's getting a little easier. They're opening up a new building of affordable housing in Harlem this summer, 70 units, and they're accepting applications later this year. The housing in Harlem is just the latest in the good work New York Foundling is doing. The organization offers more than 100 people affordable housing in the Bronx. These homes are going to people aging out of foster care or some with developmental disabilities. I want to introduce you to 58-year-old Anthony McQueen. He always wanted his own apartment. His whole life, he lived from group home to group home. Finally, after a decade on that waiting list, he has a one-bedroom apartment to call his own. Anthony McQueen says every time he walks into his new apartment... This is a dream. Uh, it's a dream. I just can't believe it. I, I got to pinch myself every time I wake up. McQueen is living with developmental disabilities and needs affordable, supportive housing. He got it. McQueen just moved into a new apartment in this new building called the Vital Brookdale on East 98th Street. He says it's a perfect fit. Thank God. 
I got my own place, and I was so happy. His favorite place now? his new living room. This is my couch, this is my house, this is my living room. It's mine. Yeah, it's all yours. All mine. All yours. Thanks to New York Foundling, a social services organization that helps thousands of people like McQueen live their full potential. Mr. McQueen is, has become one of my very favorite people, um, and this is what the work is all about. Queen's building officially opened this week. It's 100% affordable housing with 160 units. It includes 10 apartments for youths aging out of foster care and 26 apartments for individuals with intellectual and developmental disabilities. One of McQueen's new neighbors is Andre Welsh. He just moved in as well. How happy are you now to live here? Pretty good. It wouldn't, it wouldn't come out compound work and get me, help me get into the building. I would not be here right now. It's not just affordable housing. On site, there's job placement services, affordable health care, and even life coaches that help with everyday needs. Things like going to the grocery store, developing your list for what you need, employment opportunities, educational opportunities. So we're here to support them on their path to independence. McQueen says his new home has given him a new attitude and a new positive outlook on life. He can't stop smiling. I was wishing a lot. For 15 years, I was wishing. Wish. And my wish finally came true. Oh, we're so happy for you, Anthony. You can easily sign up for the housing opportunities like the one Anthony received or the new opportunities in Harlem. We've developed a housing hub on our website at pix11.com slash Monica. In addition to the hottest housing opportunities, it'll help you with resources so you can know your rights when you're fighting for services like your heat and hot water and gas. Check it out. And on each Monica Makes It Happen show, we want to highlight the community champions. Remember last time? Our honoree was none other than the king of hip-hop, Daryl DMC McDaniels, one of the founding members of Run DMC. We honored him right here in our studios for his extraordinary work creating music programs for children across our area with an organization called Music Will. Coming up, we're honoring a queen of housing in the Bronx. We're surprising tenant president Queen McFarland with a huge honor. There'll be a lot of screaming, a lot of tears. Stay tuned. <laughs> I'm here in the Belmont section of the Bronx with cancer survivors and thrivers in the salon. Construction work is hard and dangerous, and no matter how many safety measures we take, accidents can still happen. That's why when someone asks me what I would do in case of an accident, it's very simple. I call the lawyers at Oreski & Associates. Jacob Oreski's been helping accident victims for more than 30 years. I know we can trust him. I know he's got our backs. If you've been injured in an accident, call me. I'm ready to fight for you. Oreski, Oreski, hey! Okay, Oreski! At CFSC, we understand the importance of being able to handle all your financial needs easily. That's why we provide the right services to help you manage your money your way. We cash checks, we pay bills, we load prepaid cards. With 87 tri-state locations, our goal is to provide all your financial needs under one roof, including tax refund services and a dedicated staff that knows you're a part of the family. Whatever you need to manage your money, at CFSC, we've got you covered. Moments with Seth Harris. You ever notice a lot of these accident firms out there aren't local? Hey, they're under pain law. These big firms come from out of town. They don't know the locals. Hey, they're under pain law. <laughs> but I'm from this city. Hey, 800 pain law. I was born and raised here. Hey, 800 pain law. Hey, pain law. Hey, pain law. I work here. Yo, 800 pain law. It's good to be local. Burns and Harris, if you're in pain, you need law. When I was a kid, my father was up on a bulldozer tearing down a building when a brick wall collapsed on him and almost killed him. They had to amputate his leg and he had to learn to walk again. And he was out of work for a long time while my mom went to work as a waitress in a restaurant just to help pay the bills and the family had to pitch in. And uh, those were really dark days for my family. And so I understand what it's like when, you know, an accident turns your world upside down because I've been there. And welcome back. I am so excited to have my next guest on, meet Queen McFarland. She is the tenant president of the Twin Parks East in the Bronx. You make it happen. 
and you help make it happen. Ah, you know, it's a team. We, we work together to make it happen. But the first thing I want to talk about is this new green space that you created for the seniors out in the Bronx. Uh -huh. It was unbelievable what you've done. I mean, the seniors really needed a green space, and you fought for them, and you won. Yes, definitely, definitely, because I didn't like the idea of seeing the seniors sit out in front of the building in the summertime, Yeah. especially as dangerous as things are now. So I felt that that space was back there, and they should be able to go back there and relax and talk with their friends and barbecue and invite their families open, play shuffleboard and checkers. I mean, just live their lives, you yeah. know, and enjoy their lives. Again, months in the winter, no heat, no hot water. For three years, you've been yeah. fighting. We've been fighting with you. Yeah. And this yes. year, you even got the public advocate and the mayor yes, yes, to listen to you. Yes, yes, yes. And it's been an uphill battle, and it's still not over. You know, yeah. and every elected official that I speak to about the problem, everyone promises, but it's like we're the forgotten people, you know. Well, and not the anymore. Funniest thing, not, that's what I was getting ready to say. The funniest thing, nothing gets done until I call Monica Morales. <laughs> well, you, you have me on your speed dial, but uh, I sure so do. I kind of, this is a little surprise we have for you. We want to honor you here at PIX11. We have something called the PIX11's Community Hero Award. Now, DMC McDaniels got it last time. He's the king, but you are the queen of housing. Oh and we want to present this to you, uh, an official award right here <gasps> on television for everything that you do for your community to make oh, it happen. Thanks. You're making it happen. So will you accept our award? I most certainly will. Oh, Thank just you, love you so I much. I want to give you a big old hug. If yes, you can I? I do. Yes, yes, let's do it real quick. Oh, my God. Oh. And thank you for everything that you do. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. But I, I have to say, everything that I do, I do it from my heart. And I really don't look for awards. But when I do get it, I appreciate it. But it's just that... What a, yeah, I just thank you. That's all I can say is thank you. And I know I speak for the public advocate, too. Jamani Williams just yes. feels like your work is so important. And we're going to keep fighting, and you're going to help us, right? Oh, yes, I will, because I'm not going to give up. Because, like I say, I don't think that seniors that have lived as long and worked as hard as we have, that we should be treated the way we're being treated. You know, and the thing that I try to say to these public advocates, you're going to get old one day. And how would you like someone to treat you the way that we're being treated? No heat, no hot water, you know, elevators don't work. Yeah. You know, you, you don't treat your elders like that. No, you don't. And you we don't. are so grateful to you. And we're grateful you're making it happen. We're making it happen. Thanks for joining us again Thank for you. Monica Makes It Happen Show. Housing Thank is you. always our number one focus. Let's keep making it happen together, shall we? See you next time. Thanks, Queen. Thank you are you. the best.